I'm Vincent Balistrieri for the International Business Times, and this is the Lenovo ThinkPad 8. Now, this is marketed towards business professionals who are constantly shuttling from meeting to meeting, but doesn't have the power to do, as Lenovo claims. So, let's start with the power. 2 gigs of RAM and an Intel Atom processor good for up to 2.4 gigahertz. In English, it's got the brawn to get work done, especially while multitasking or showing intensive presentations. And when things have quieted down, it'll still pass our tablet game performance test, Asphalt 8. It doesn't skip a beat, whether you ask it to play a racing game or keep track of your workload. The ThinkPad 8 also has a micro HDMI output, which will allow you to supplement your mobile work. You could plug it into an HDMI equipped monitor, break out a Bluetooth mouse, and boom, instant desktop station. Sure, it's not going to outpower a real desktop, but for what it is, the ThinkPad commands respect. You could just slip the tablet back into your pocket when you're done, after all. But a good tablet, even a work-focused one like this, needs to do more than just put up good performance figures. Like anything else in the tech world, it also has to look good, since, well, you'll be staring at it quite often. The ThinkPad 8 doesn't have an 8-inch screen, as the name implies. It has an 8.3-inch screen. Decimal pedancy inside, the display itself is actually quite a brilliant little thing. Unlike most tablets offered in this size range, the ThinkPad 8 has a real high definition display. 1920 by 1200 resolution. Speaking of looks, have a gander at the ThinkPad 8 without any apps running. It's very simple and clean, if you disregard that ugly ThinkPad badge at the top. And look, a Windows Home button on the front. Not every Windows tablet places their home button where it should be, on the front, but thankfully Lenovo picked the right spot. There's a nice lip running around the outside of the front display giving the screen a chance to survive in case you drop the ThinkPad on its face. Now that's all well and good, but it's not the tightest of scenes. After a day or two, dust and debris began to pile up in the ThinkPad's cracks. That's easily solved with the cloth, of course, but the rest of the tablet's construction seems to follow the same lack of desire to execute. There are good ideas here, but I can't help thinking that they went out the door without a proper workshopping. Take the buttons on the rim of the ThinkPad, their power and volume adjustments. They're well placed, so obviously a good bit of thought went into the decision, but actually pressing them reveals that they're wallowy and uncommunicative. They're not the only thing that suffers from this lack of quality control, though. The USB 3.0 port that lives next door doesn't let the charger sit quite right. It's always hanging a little bit off. Since we're on the subject of charging, I have to expose the ThinkPad 8's big flaw the battery life. Now, Lenovo claims that you'll get up to eight hours on a charge, but the best I saw with moderate use was four to five hours, and that was mostly light duty stuff like Twitter. Start playing games and the battery life plummets. One of the unexpected strengths of the ThinkPad 8 is actually its camera. And I can't believe I'm saying that, since I think taking photos with tablets looks ridiculous. But the rear lens is a decently impressive 10 megapixel unit that captures fine details in photos and HD videos admirably for a tablet that's not booked as a media powerhouse. Sure, it's not a DSLR, but it's much clearer than I expected. As always with tablets in the 7 and 8 inch range, the ThinkPad 8 isn't a real desktop replacement, but it makes a good case for itself as a supplemental machine. At $400, it's a big jump from the other players from Dell and Toshiba, but if you can deal with the iffy battery life and need a laptop replacement, the ThinkPad 8 is a good value.